happens. I'm going to give you two boarding passes. As they enter the exhibit at the Luxor Hotel, each visitor receives a boarding pass with the name of an actual passenger aboard the Titanic. Now in the last room, you'll be able to see on the memorial wall and look up your passenger and see if you survived or perished. Enjoy. And with that, visitors enter the exhibit as if they were boarding the ocean liner on April 14, 1912. They walk past an unadorned third-class cabin before reaching the elegantly furnished first-class section, considered more luxurious than any hotel of the era. The more than 300 artifacts on display were recovered from the ocean floor after the wreck was discovered in 1985. The jewelry, personal toiletries, china, and silverware take visitors like Eric Barr back in time. But when you actually see the artifacts, it brings you a little closer to life, to the boat. It makes you feel like you were actually on the ship with the passengers. The artifact exhibition also features replicas. The most noteworthy is the grand staircase that most people recognize from the movie Titanic. Lori Maidment is from England. It's, it's amazing, to, especially the, the scene where you come into the first class where the stairs are and the, what it was like in first class. And you can imagine um, Rose and the, from the film walking down those stairs and everything. It was fantastic, really good. Exhibit specialist Randy Dale finds a section of the ship's hull named the Big Piece fascinating. It is the only one of its kind around the globe. It is the largest piece ever brought up from the Titanic itself. It is 15 tons and it's 26 feet wide and it fills up an entire room. And when you go in that room, you just feel the essence of the ship itself. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Visitors are invited to touch a specially created iceberg to feel how cold the water was when the supposedly unsinkable ship went down. And the individuals that lost their lives, most of them did not die from drowning. They died of hypothermia, which is where their body basically shuts down because it gets too cold. The emotional journey through the exhibit ends here, where visitors learn their passengers' fate. Hey, he survived right there. That's cool. He's only 21 years old. Very educational and emotional. I feel like I was one of those surviving passengers, you know, just kind of telling a story. It's a story the Artifact Exhibition in Las Vegas will be telling until it closes in 2018. For producer June So, I'm Carol Pearson, VOA News.